Welcome, welcome to Anthony's Cross Threaded Garage. I am getting a late start this weekend. I had to do yard work. I had to put gravel here behind the house. Cool work on tearing down this motor and putting a cam in it. I bought a, a truck noise cam. Hopefully, we get it installed. We're going to use try to use the uh, dial pin trick. We're sticking the oil galleries bypass or whatever to hold up the lifters while we swap out this cam. So let's go ahead and jump into this engine work and see what we got. Live! Live! Alright, we're going to get all of my cameras hooked up the way I want them. We'll start pulling the intake off. Right now. <laughs> Welcome to my favorite part. Drain coolant. As y'all know, once you start drain coolant, it doesn't go as plain. Get up the pet cock. It's supposed to come out the pet cock. It's supposed to get out of the drain, but it goes everywhere. Once you think you have it all drained, then you dump some more out. So I got some floor dry. I got a drain bucket to catch some of it. Let's make a mess because I gotta get this water pump off anyway to get the cam out. I gotta take the steam line off the old throttle body. Tamer down. Oh yeah. Coming out all the way over here. Isn't that great? Look at that. Look at that mess. That's great. Go remove the intake. Oh yeah. And lock sensors. And she's off. Yeah, really bad pits on what shows up. Show but there's wear right here where the lifter's been stuck grinding, so I gotta pull the head. It's uh Might as well do it now. I don't wanna I don't wanna tear up this brand new cam. It wasn't very cheap. You guys ever priced these? No. It's not so, very good. And that's further down the we go. What? That baby? This cam? This, this cam is shit right. It can't work. It can't work. Oh. 
Oh, can't be wind. End up tearing down the whole motor. Had a pitted cam and a bad lifter. So when I tore it all down, got to order new lifters. Or get the new cam. Uh, I think we'll not replace the cam bearings. They look okay. We'll have to do all the lifters now. And head gaskets and everything. And head bolts. But better than sticking a new cam in there and watch it get destroyed. So I guess we're doing engine stuff next weekend too. Alright, it's next weekend. Things are getting bad from worse. I just took my Studebaker down the road. Just weighing down to the store. And lost my brakes. Got a busted brake line on. So that's wonderful. I don't get my don't get my lifters for my speed truck yet. So that's good, so I can't reassemble it. But Hey, quiet on the set. What? Quiet on the set. Daddy's filming. Well, I'll get my heads. I'm going to try to do a little bit of polishing on them. you got to change all the valve springs still. I need to clean up all the surfaces on them. I still need to clean up the surfaces on my engine. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll get something done today. Until we get the rest of my parts and hopefully we'll get back together next week. Cause now I need to get my truck finished. I need to want to get my Studebaker in here and get the brakes fixed. But really, before that, I need to get my Audi in here. I don't know what I'm doing. I was talking. You guys already know all this. All right. I'm gonna use a whiz wheel clean up this head. Usually, you know, GM doesn't recommend you use these abrasives, but I ain't got time. I just ain't got time. I mean, I got time because I ain't got my lifters, but I ain't got time. You know what I mean. Here we go. Nice and clean. Alright, do this Press tool and take the other valves. I'll go step by step on one of them. At least no one's ever done one. All right, apparently this one's broke. It's missing a piece. <laughs> How are we going to do that? How are we going to do that, Dad? We ain't do nothing now. All right, well, that one was broke, so went to advance and exchange it. You got a brand new one. So. Right in there. Let's try again. See, this one has a lock right here. That the other one didn't have. It broke off. Plus, the adjuster was broke. Alright, let's see if we can get this. Come on, I'm not compressing it. No. All right, well this ain't working. This ain't working worth a damn. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, I'm well, I get this tool. Maybe this one will work. Get this random bolt from a junk tray. I don't know. This is kind of what's doing here. Let's go ahead and down. Well, 
been in there for a minute. Somebody made cool enough to get the valve out, but I really didn't want to take that one out first. Ooh, oh, yeah. I really don't like this either. I feel like I'm going to tear something up here. Yeah, so that's my grade A bolt. Good. All right, this time it worked with a little bit of persuasion. There, I lost one. There. There it works. I think my hammer got her loose there. I think you're supposed to do that. I don't know. Let's pick that up. All right, get all the valves out. Get the surface clean. Now, I am going to smooth up the porch with this. I'm not doing anything crazy. There's videos on YouTube where they show I'm taking them down to the bare minimum. All I'm going to do is take down the cast and roughness on the intakes and the exhaust. And just do a little valve lapping job on my valves. I'm not going to take this anything machine drop or anything. Probably should have. Uh, Dad was replacing these seals on the valves. They're pretty crunchy and junk. So it's not all bad news. I guess these came out. This guy is making this need to be done. Especially on these valves. These valves really needed to be lapped and cleaned up. I'm going to compress it off. I'm going to show you real quick what I'm going to do here. This little sandpaper. As you can see, I'm not taking a lot of material. I'm just taking off the rock. I'm not getting crazy. I don't have a flow bed. I'm hoping it flows a little bit. Let's do all these, and then I'll do a fine cut on it. Now, haters gonna hate. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just knocking down some burrs, some rough, making it smooth up here so it'll be all rough from the casting. 
like it is right here how this is all rough and this is rough I don't have a flood bench to put this on after I save it I'm not taking the machine so I'm doing what I can right now to get by it's gonna halfway do for the help maybe I'm gonna do a damn thing you might as well try to do something while you're there put a little bit of valve wrapping compound on it see that horrible port polish job watch this crash somebody at work told me I could do this let's see See what kind of job it that did with the drill. Get my clean rag. Rip it all off. That looks impressive. Probably really could use the ground grind job on these valves, but I ain't gonna do it. I ain't got time. I ain't got the money. That's murder. If I was gonna do that, I need to do the bottom end there. Else. So F that. We'll get a good lapping done here. And Oh well. Alright. I got all my valves lapped. I did all my my little port and polishing. Get this thing over to the parts washer and get cleaned up. Get ready to reassemble. Alright, so here's my parts washer. And we're just gonna Oh parts wash. Get all parts washed. Now let's start putting these valves back in. Let's see how hard they're going to be. I got brand new springs. So I'm going to get them stacked up here behind me. So let's start putting them in. We got them sequenced from front to rear as it would sit in the vehicle. Of course, I already lapped them. Kudos, kudos to my buddy at work. That looks really good. Brand new valve stems. Replace those old crusty ones. These are way more pliable. Brand new springs, spring retainers. Just spring retainer, we're using the old ones, it's fine. It's fine. One keeper, two keepers, release. Brand new spring installed, original retainers and keepers, brand new seal, valve's been lapped. All right, let's get through all of them here. Now that we got all our valves in, this head is good. So do some quick polishing on it. It's done. Still don't have no lifters though. Don't got a lot of motivation because we can't go together. So. I want to see if I can get this last one done and call her a day. We'll see if I, what I do here. I right, will try a trick that I think I saw one time. I, mean, I didn't even see it. Maybe make it up with my mouth. Well, we'll see. Huh. Yeah, I did see it one time. Lord have mercy. I'm only get these heads done. Good thing I didn't get my lifters because I don't have time to put them in. Maybe get it all back together next weekend. I don't know. We hope so been rough when well, you see the sun's going down I got things mostly put away in the garage for the most part got both heads polished I guess I can say they're polished and all ported so I didn't take no bar bed to them they look pretty good good enough knock down the, the roughness in the combustion chamber and on the uh, exhaust, and mostly around the intake. Not very good on this intake. I can't get very good reach. So, so I'm done with this video. Next weekend, hopefully, I can put this truck back together, get the heads back on. I can take you step through step through doing that. And hopefully we can hear this truck fire with a new cam. Let's see if it's got the... <laughs> hopefully. 
So this is Anthony's Cross Thirty Garage. Next time, till next time. No, be my intro. Get here. Well, I messed up.